Uh, this case uh, is a very serious case, a very important case, and it strikes right at the heart of our freedom of speech uh, here in the United Kingdom. And uh, it's a sad day in many ways, a sad day for freedom. We, what we have is a public official, Boris Johnson, very clearly giving two opposite versions of what happened with regard to these bus adverts. In April 2012, he took all the credit, he made the statement, I pulled those adverts, I instructed for those adverts to be pulled. But here to this court, he made a clear statement saying that he didn't do that, uh, that he was just merely expressing an opinion. The judge uh, refused our application uh, to cross-examine him on what he really meant by the word instruct. And what are we left with? We're left with the, the judge then almost bending over backwards, doing academic somersaults to say, that uh, he didn't, when he said instruct, he didn't really mean instruct, he was just giving an opinion. We're going to appeal. Boris Johnson, Mrs Justice Lang, they have not uh, seen the last of this. They really haven't. Because it's a really important case for freedom of speech and for tr the transparency of our public officials, our political officials, and indeed the court, the judiciary. If you'd ever said to me when I was a young barrister that I would be calling into question the transparency of our judicial system, I think I'd have laughed. But what we see here in the face of evidence that is black and white, that cannot uh, be interpreted in any other way, contemporaneous emails, sworn oaths to the court is contradictory statements which the judge chooses not to probe or make excuses for. It's opaque. We won't give up here.